Welcome back to Learning Fabric again. It's with Tommy and Mike today, and today we're going to jump in and we are going to just create our first lake house inside the Power BI Com environment. Take it away, Tommy. All right, so I'm in a workspace, fabric-enabled workspace here in Power BI, and this is really where we can begin to uh, first steps to create a lake house. And there's multiple ways to do it. There's one way, more than one way to skin the cat, so to speak. So I just got in my workspace. It is a fabric enabled workspace. I can see that here when I hover over the diamond icon. And you'll notice when I actually click on the new toggle, like we're used to when we want to create a report or dashboard, I don't see a lake house here. And the reason is I'm actually in the Power BI environment of this workspace. If you have a fabric enabled workspace, you'll notice in the bottom left of any of my content, I actually have here this icon that's showing me that right now I'm in a Power BI uh, setting. I can actually click here and I can see here all the different elements of Microsoft Fabric. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do to start my lake house, I'm gonna click on data engineering. And now you can actually see all the elements or all the items that are related to data engineering in Microsoft Fabric. Now, a few important things here too, before we uh, continue, it actually tells me over here, which workspace that this uh, lake house would actually be uh, created in. And you can see here, it's the demo learn fabric. That's where I want it to be. That's I a can, bit small, Tommy. Do you okay, mind zooming? Yep. Is, do you have a zoom in for that one? Yeah, absolutely. So it, just, it shows me the current workspace that if I were to create the lake house here, and you'll also notice on the bottom left that my icon also changed as well from that Power BI to now I'm in a data engineering uh, environment for the workspace. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I can actually now go back to the workspace, clicking here, and what I can actually do here, going to my uh, new you'll notice that all these different items now that are no longer those dashboard or scorecard. These are all data engineering type items because I'm in a data engineering uh, environment now in the workspace. So this is another way I can actually see here to create the lake house. The last place that I can create a lake house, if I want to, I can go to the create on the left-hand side pane. And I can go here and I can actually choose and create a lake house here as well. Important to know too, if I want to know, hey, since I'm no longer in a workspace, where am I at? Where would this uh, lake house be created? I can actually see on the very top of the menu bar here, the Synest State of Engineering, Learn Fabric. That's the workspace we want to create it in. So any of these uh, avenues to create a lake house is all going to be created in the same place in the same way. Personally, I like going to the workspace. And what we'll do is we'll go, I'll click on the new, and I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, click on Lake House. First option or first item that I need to do is I need a name. This Here's is the a, hardest part here. This is the hardest <laughs> part here, yes. What, what do you call the lake? We had a, a fun little Twitter thread uh, that was occurring about what kind of names would you uh, give your lake house? And, and one of them was, you could name it Loch Ness. Uh, you could name it Nessie, the sea monster for your lake house. You right. could call it, you know, final, final, V2, final, you know, kind of thing as, as well. So, Tommy, what, what are we going to name our lake house today? What do you want to name it today? Yeah, so the options are pretty unlimited in terms of how much fun we can have. But I think, Mike, you're in Milwaukee. I'm in Chicago. We have something that connects us. And that's we do. the Great Lakes. The so Great we're going to go ahead and call this the Great Lakes. I like it. Or lakes or lake. lake. Let's let's oh, call it a lake. lake. It is yeah, one, it's a single lake one lake. Yes. For now. <laughs> For now. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we may have a few uh, different lake houses. That actually will be pretty fun. And I'm going to go ahead and click on create. And once we click uh, create, it's just going to load up and it'll actually bring us straight into the lake house here. And it's a pretty uh, somewhat familiar uh, UI if this is your first time. Kind of looks like the first time you open a Power BI report, yes. but a few different options here. And what I can actually do is go back to my workspace here, the demo learn fabric. And you'll notice too, Power BI has this great new feature where recent items that I've used, they're actually really utilizing that side pane. So uh, items that I go into actually show up here in the side pane. So I'm in the Great Lake now, but I also see the workspace. Love that, that word I'm wrapping in. right there. Yes. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the Great Lock. The Great Lock. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to the workspace. And you'll notice that one lake house has actually created three 
items, artifacts in this workspace now. I can see what the element is or the artifact based on the icon and also the type. So I can see every lake house will create a SQL endpoint, a data set, and obviously the lake house. And this is Let's yeah. talk about these really quick here. Let's just kind of align what this means mentally for us as we think about these three different objects. The lake house is like our storage account. That's like mm -hmm. where the physical files get stuck. And then we have the SQL endpoint, which does not store any data. Yes. It's literally a computer engine or compute engine, what they call it in this space, that reaches into the lake and then can access tables that are there. And then at the very top, you get a, what they're calling a default data set. So there is the Great Lake data set. This is a data set like you would normally think about a Power BI cube or a Power BI data set. It's the same concept, but tables that are created in yes. the Great Lake are now exposed to us in the Great Lake data set. Yes. I feel like this is a bit confusing as we start building out these lake objects because I thought I was creating one thing, but in reality, I got three items but I'm only physically creating you know, like physical objects. I'm creating a data set and a lake. And the SQL endpoint is just a way to access or connect to that data lake. And maybe there's some metadata stored there as well, but realistically it's, it's only looking at the data that is stored in the lake. And it's really important too, to understand their purposes for each. Obviously we'll, as we go through the series, we'll, we'll be talking about uh, putting elements or putting data into the lake house and how we can transform it. SQL endpoints actually really cool because I can connect and create read only access to it um, in other systems, not just in fabric. And obviously the data set is really a power BI data set um to Clooney data modeling so this is just the beginning of just creating a lake house and getting started in fabric love it well that's it we created our first lake house we'll do more and start building and bringing data to the lake house thank you all very much and we'll see you next time on learn fabric